Hi, I'm uh, Greg Sullivan. I'm the senior advisor on Iran policy at the U.S. Department of State. And uh, we're here in Los Angeles uh, in preparation for the U.S. versus Iran volleyball matches uh, that will be uh, taking place tomorrow and on Sunday. Um, we're really excited. Uh, we're delighted to welcome the Iranian team here again, uh, as we did uh, back in August of 2014. Uh, we had, at that time, uh, the State Department and the uh, USA volleyball team together uh, hosted the Iranian team for four days, for, sorry, for uh, two weeks of friendly matches and visits, dinners, uh, uh, visits around the United States. Um, just goodwill matches, sports diplomacy as we call it. Um, getting, to know the Iranian, getting to know the Iranian team, uh, having some practices together, uh, and just building goodwill. It was a it was a great experience, um, but those uh, those matches didn't count. They were all for fun. Uh, they were all for goodwill. These matches count. So we have uh, Team Iran coming in, uh, and they will play two matches uh, against uh, Team USA this weekend, and then Team USA will travel to Iran to be hosted by the Iranian team for two more matches, and those four games together will decide the bracket uh, and who advances into the next round of the FIVB World uh, World League Championship. Uh, it's going to be an exciting set of matches. Uh, the U.S. team and the Iranian team are very evenly matched. Um, U.S. team is, uh, is an experienced squad that's been together a long time. The Iranian team, very scrappy squad, very young, very athletic. Uh, they set uh, their, they, their, their service and their sets uh, are, are, are really top rate, uh, and uh, you can easily underestimate them, uh, just as many did uh, in last year's competition, uh, when the Iranian team wound up beating four of the six top-ranked teams in a span of two weeks. So the um, U.S. team's not taking the Iranian team lightly. Uh, they're out here today uh, for their final tune-up uh, before the match is tomorrow. Uh, they look tough. Uh, the Iranian team will be out here at about 5.30 today, uh, taking their last practice uh, before they, have, they face off against Team USA. Uh, and we're excited. This is um, uh, the matches here in L.A., where we have a very large Iranian-American community. So uh, this weekend, uh, the, uh, I think the atmosphere here is going to be electric uh, for the... For the uh, uh, for the matches we had last August, uh, it was just uh, it was just incredibly exciting. I think this time we're going to see a pretty even even split between the crowd. Uh, you'll probably see red, white, and blue on one side and red, white, and green on the other as the Iranian American community town turns out in numbers to support Team Iran. So uh, we'll have the chance going back and forth. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be an electric atmosphere in here. I think this is the hot ticket in Los Angeles this weekend. So um, so we're excited. Um, uh, we're excited for uh, for the games this weekend, and we're looking forward to to when Team USA goes to visit Iran in uh, in June. Um, the Iranian team will host Team USA, uh, and this will be the first time that the USA volley vo volleyball team has visited Iran in 35 years. Um, so it'll be an historic visit. Um, the uh, uh, they'll be following in the in the footsteps as well of, of Team USA wrestling. Um, the, uh, the USA wrestling team has visited Iran on several occasions, and they've had really uh, incredible experiences. Um, they've always been hosted extraordinarily well, very graciously, uh, and the fans, the Iranian fans, have just been fantastic. Uh, they've always cheered the American team. Um, they've always che cheered the American players uh, in a way that I, I think was really unexpected for, uh, for a lot of our guys. So um, we're expecting the same thing. You know, USA Volleyball will go, and I, I think they're going to have a great experience as well. So um, we're, you know, we're happy that all of this has taken place. Uh, we're, we're delighted at what we can do at the State Department uh, to help support this, uh, this nurturing of goodwill between the American people and the Iranian people, uh, and hope that, uh, you know, I hope that the, uh, uh, these events can, uh, you know, help pave the way for a different type of relationship between the U.S. and Iran. So thank you. Thank you.